People of Reddit, have you had a scenario out of an adult film happen to you in real life? Hot librarian, lonely housewife, etc. What was it like? I was 22, living in a big city and enjoying life. My roommate and I decided to go have some beers with a friend of my roommates. Since I've never met this person, I didn't know what to expect. She ends up getting to the bar we were supposed to meet at, and I instantly get the vibe that this friend and my roommate have some... frisky tension. So I leave and grab a drink by myself so I can let them have their alone time. Time passes and this girl comes up to me, tattooed from head to toe. Some even on the face, but she was attractive. I was 22 and had nothing to lose. We started chatting and drinks are flowing as I was reasonably drunk at this point. One thing led to another and she says to me, I wanna blow you. I was taken aback. I've never had anyone come on to me this bluntly before. So I was ecstatic. I obviously say yes and we head back to her apartment. She shuffled me into her room, which meant we had to cross the living room. This is where it gets weird. There's some dude in the living room and he just looks at me and I look at him. And me and the girl just continue into the room. I was thinking this dude was her roommate or whatever, so I carried on. The second we get into her room, she starts going to town. It was wild. I'm enjoying this and thinking, I peeked. This is it. After a couple seconds, she stops, whips out a bag of drugs, puts a sloppy line on my shaft, and does a line off my dong. I was staring in utter shock. W was I dreaming? Did this just happen? What the hell? Anyway, she finished the line and continued, and it was still amazing. I'm about to finish, and as I'm about to, she deep throats, and I'm in frickin' heaven. As I climax, without my knowledge and with laser frickin' precision, she rams her index finger into my butt. It's like she was a sniper. She instantly knew where my brown eye was. So here I am, with my dong in this girl's throat, a finger up my butt where nothing has gone before, and pants around my ankles. The feeling I felt is indescribable. Mouth is wide open. How do I react? Well, she swallows, gets up, looks me in the eye, and says, Get out. I swear to you, I have never put on my pants quicker than this. I jolt out of there, walk past the dude in the living room, and the dude says, You know, that's my girlfriend. Again, mouth open, I just run back outside. Texted my friend saying I had to scram, called an Uber, and then went home in the most shameful state of mind I have ever been in. While not something I would consider out of an adult film or anything like that, definitely a banger to kick it off with. A wild ride from start to finish. Let's hope the others are this good. Story 2. I was drinking at a bar minding my own business. Two women start chatting with me. We do a few shooters, I crack some jokes. They ask, what would you say if two ladies wanted to play with you? I responded, break out the toys, let's go. We slammed our beers, paid tabs, took a cab to their place, and just banged a lot. The whole thing felt like an adult film. When I left a couple hours later with a beer in hand from their fridge, I realized I was in an unfamiliar part of town. Found a convenience store and took a cab home. 10 out of 10, would trio again. Story 3, almost. In college, a hot next door girl invited me for a late night tea. Went to her place, she opened the door and she was wearing only silk pajamas. I could see that she wasn't wearing any underwear either, and my heart started to pump like hell. And somehow I managed to drink tea and talk for an hour and then leave. No banging, nothing. I really don't know how I managed to screw that up to this day. Story 4. I'm a massage therapist. I had a female client and she was a very attractive woman. I was performing a two-hour massage. First hour was chest, arms, legs, etc. Halfway through that, she tells me I am very good and I should massage her husband. I had massaged her husband. He hated me and got irrationally angry at the end of the massage. I told her that. She said, He's so weird. The other day he came home to me bathing and he was like, Girl, you knew I wanted to take a shower. How could you do this to me? Then stormed out. And he didn't come back for like two hours. I kept massaging her, but in my head I was like, Yeah, that guy's not normal. I turn her over. Now it's time for legs first, and then glutes and back. She starts moaning and moaning. She's really, really into it. A little too into it. She's dropping comments like it feels so good with a sort of sexiness to her voice. I am beginning to become alarmed. I get to her back and pull the sheet down. She starts pulling the sheet down to reveal the top of her butt, then the middle, then the whole thing. She's also clearly pleasuring herself. She's really into it and moaning hard. I won't lie, I was solid. Pretty hot so far, huh? Well, I'm a massage therapist, not an escort, so indulging could end my career. I should have just stopped the massage, but the whole time I was thinking of her freaking out and going home to her crazy husband to tell him I'd accused her of doing exactly what she was doing. I'm not a huge dude, and he is. He's also built like a linebacker. He also seemed crazy enough to wait for me by my car in the parking lot. I finished the massage, she finished herself. Story 5. Working night shift as a desk clerk. Gorgeous woman walks in the door. She's upset and asks if she can sit. Now, when I say gorgeous, 
I mean just that. Not centerfold looks, movie star looks. Blonde, beautiful face killer bod, sexy but classy clothes. She had met her ex-husband for dinner, but it didn't go well. They had a fight and she left and ended up where I was working alone in a small hotel. We talked for hours, never in my life had a conversation gone so easily and so well. She clearly liked me too. Midnight came and I was off. She said to me, I don't want this to end. Let's drive somewhere we can park and talk. So we took her car, went up in the mountains, and found a nice place to park where no one could bother us. We move close, still talking. She's in my arms and she looks at me and says, Sometimes I think I'm crazy. I respond, everybody feels like that sometimes. She looks me dead in the eye and says, Yes, but right now I can hear the devil. He says I should go home and unalive my children. Needless to say, I did not get laid that night. Her ex got called and he and I took her to a hospital. He ended up telling me I was an okay guy even though I had almost screwed his wife. I probably learned a lesson that night, but I have no idea what it was. Story 6. I was living in Australia for a bit after graduating from college here in the US. I was invited to a big, fancy house party after the Melbourne Cup horse races. For those who don't know, it's a massive event, similar in scope to the Kentucky Derby, where everyone dresses up. For those who don't know, it's a massive event, similar in scope to the Kentucky Derby, where everyone is dressed up, but parties pretty aggressively. I was in Oz to play a sport, and the friend who invited me to the party mentioned this while introducing me to some folks, including an absolutely gorgeous recently divorced woman and mother of two, who is about 45, I think. She didn't believe me and requested that we go inside to the home's study to Google me and prove it. I innocently agreed, thinking she was legitimately curious. We got into the study and she literally took her arms and brushed everything off the desk. Then she sat on it and beckoned me over. Absolutely wild, passionate session followed. Up to that point, I had only been with girls my age or younger. But I now realize what people mean when they say that cougars are demons in the sack. The somewhat raunchy but too good not to include kicker. Right afterwards, she goes, Oh, that was the mother load. That line could be the greatest thing anyone has ever said to me, considering she was a mother. Story 7. I was in San Antonio for army medic school in 2004. While at a house party, I went to another room party and found a train being ran on a girl on the bed, while another girl was giving head to a few people in the bathroom. When I walked in, someone was like, get comfortable. There was also a guy pleasuring himself in a chair by the window. This guy turned out to be the cab driver that dropped these people off at the hotel. I'm surprised my head didn't explode that day. Story 8. I was out at a bar with a few friends and we were going to head home. But it is still pretty early in the night, so I got on Tinder and threw out a few messages to see if anyone was down to hang out. Some chick replied with her address, so I went over there and we worked our way to the basement. Side note, she was wearing an ACDC shirt and I'm a huge ACDC fan. So we chat for a while and about 10 minutes in, her roommate comes downstairs and starts chatting with us. Next thing I know, one of them asks if I've ever been with two girls at the same time. I say, no. Next thing I know, I'm having a trio with two chicks while the album Back in Black is playing. It is possibly the greatest night of my life and I will never forget it. Story 9. Lonely Housewife. I was in college and we worked together. It was a night job for her and a part-time gig for me. A nice lady in her early 40s who was always kind of flirty with the girls who worked there, but never any men. On her way in for her shift, she would often text a few of us to see if we wanted any fast food. I usually politely decline, except one day, and I have no idea why, but I responded to her want anything text with a nice set of breasts. It was the best thing a 21-year-old me could come up with. Damn, did it work. That instantly turned into flirty texting and then outright dirty texting of her sending random nudes she had on her phone. We eventually meet up in a parking lot and she performs oral on me like a champ. We continue to randomly hook up over the next few days. I'd text her when I was drunk or her me when she was frisky. She'd come meet me in her husband's lifted truck and I would bang her in the back seat. It was a wild few months. Things got weird when she started telling me about how she hated her husband. And while he was a good father, he was kind of a crappy husband. Again, at 21, I didn't have the mental capacity to start dealing with that, so started ghosting her texts. She ended up leaving him and getting an apartment of her own. I went over once and ended up banging her on one of her kids' beds. They weren't home, and I left feeling really dirty about the entire situation. She left our mutual job a few months later, and we never really spoke again. This was around 10 years ago, and I look back on it from time to time and think what a weird situation that was. But at the same time, what a fun one. Being a 21-year-old kid with not much experience being able to text this woman at any time of day to meet up was amazing. She was super frisky and, as cheesy as it sounds, taught me a lot. Thanks for the memories, lady. Are guys really out here texting like that? Their coworker says, hey, want anything from McDonald's? And this dude actually responded, yeah. 
boobs. There must have been some, like, divine intervention here, because I can't imagine a world where that works. Story 10. Lots of alcohol in this story. Panama City, Florida in the early 90s. Yeah, I'm old. I had a house on the beach, rented, and my buddies in the house next door had a party. It was a full-on rager. Lots of neighbors coming over and people we didn't know coming in off the beach. I'm completely blitzed and a girl grabs me and we start dancing. The music is super loud, too loud to speak to each other, plus I'm drunk AF. We dance for a bit and she grabs my hand and pulls me outside onto the back porch. We start kissing. We still haven't said a word to each other. I move her off the porch and toward my house next door, kissing and groping the whole way, still not talking. I take her into my house, bend her over the arm of the couch, and bang her hard. Still haven't said a word to her or her to me. Lots of moaning, though. She finished, but I couldn't. Whiskey dong. Still not a word. She turns around and kneels in front of me and blows me for 10 to 15 minutes. I finished, she swallowed it all and cleaned me up. I stumbled to the kitchen to get her some water, and when I turned around, she was smiling at me from the back door as she slid it closed and walked into the dark. I went back to the party and she wasn't there. My buddy asked me what her name was, and I said, yeah, about that. Story 11. Sleeping in the fraternity house in college. Girl I'd known all year, we'll call her M, is a cute, perky, petite blonde with massive breasts. She stumbles into my room at 2 in the morning, drunk off her butt. I'm snoozing on my oh-so-awesome futon that all 90s college freshmen were assigned. She starts pulling down my sheets and caressing my back. I look at her and say, Em, you're drunk, you need to go home. She mumbles something and stumbles back out of my room. I turned her down for two reasons. A, I had a girlfriend who is now my wife. And B, she had just broken up with one of my fraternity brothers who loved to pull down his pants and show off his dong at parties. A dong that was, no joke, the length and girth of a soda can. There is no way in God's green earth I was going to try and entertain her with what I had to offer. Right after she had been exposed to that beast of an erection. Story 12. Met a girl at a friend's birthday party. Ended up giving her a ride home. She asked if I wanted to come upstairs for a bit. Five minutes later, she asked if she could kiss me. Was about two hours in total between meeting her at the party and banging roughly on her kitchen counter. She was totally into being choked and spanked. And I discovered that spanking someone while they were blowing me is a huge turn on. The neighbors must have gotten a hell of a show since the blinds were open. The random hookup into choking, I, I still don't get that. Like, if you're into it, sure, but it just seems sketch with someone you don't really know. It's a very trusting person, or OP is a very trustworthy looking guy. Glad you had a good time, though. Story 13. So I'm 18, a virgin, a freshman in college, and I've got these older rock climbing friends from my hometown. Both are pretty attractive and they have just started dating. I go visit them for a weekend and they take me to a house party. We all ended up getting pretty drunk on this delicious apple pie moonshine and a few things come to light. 1. The guy used to have a crush on me. 2. The girl is bi and also used to have a crush on me. 3. I think both of them are hot as hell. We quickly split from the party and head back to her really nice place and just go to town on each other. All three of us all over the house, like every room. I remember at one point watching her on top of him in front of the fireplace and it was like it was straight out of a movie. Hands down, hottest moment I've ever experienced. Recently they got married. Interestingly, I wasn't invited. Edit. Another notable adult film kind of moment happened when the girl actually taught me how to give a BJ using the guy as a prop. Imagine, no, more like this. Here, watch. Which the guy was super into. Also, now I give pretty good head. Story 14. I had a girl invite me over after I was done delivering pizza. It was a girl named Courtney that I went to high school with. We were both back from college on winter break and I was working my Christmas time job at Pizza Hut. She was alone in this huge house. It was nice. She was like the only rich kid from my area. They had a pool and a hot tub inside the house, which is baller. She said, come over after you're done delivering pizzas and we will catch up but she said it pretty sly, like with a wink, so I didn't know if that was a euphemism or not. I drove home real quick and got my swimsuit and finished my shift and then drove to her house. She kissed me when I came back and it was a pretty good kiss. Then she said she was going to get these clothes off and told me to go ahead and get in the hot tub, which was just about the hottest thing I had ever had anyone tell me, but also confusing. Did she mean that she was going to get naked or get into a bathing suit? Maybe I should get naked just in case? Or maybe I should put my suit on. I decided to go in naked. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? She came out with a prim and proper one-piece bathing suit. I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Whenever she would shift positions, I would too, so she didn't know I was in there without my swimsuit on. I was embarrassed to overassume on that one. But she was okay with it. We did some oral stuff, but not underwater. Although that would have been pretty amazing. OP, I don't know if you really overassumed. It was pretty vague from start to finish. Except for the whole, like, hey, we'll catch up, wink wink. That was pretty clear that something was gonna happen. I can't fault you for wondering what the phrase, get these clothes off, meant in that scenario. Story 15. I almost did, but she got scared. 
She was a long-term sub for a class of mine in high school after our regular teacher had her baby. First week or so was pretty normal. After a few weeks, she seemed to be giving me a lot of attention in class. She would always pick on me to answer things, always wanted me to read stuff for her, and was always lingering around me when we would be working on assignments in class. And looking back, she was quite physical, as far as teacher-student relationships go. I thought it was odd, but never gave it much thought. Then, she made her move. It was literally like she watched an adult film the night before and wanted to reenact it. Pulled the whole, why don't you stay after so we can talk about something real quick. So, still oblivious at this point, honestly I thought I got caught cheating or something, I stay behind. And as soon as the door shut, she walks up to me and starts talking about something that happened in class that day. As she's talking, she kept getting closer and closer until it was awkwardly close and she just changes the subject. Starts complimenting me on things. I started to have an idea, but I thought she thought I was still confused, because she got up real close to my face, practically kissing, and offered to bang me during break. I probably looked as red as a tomato, but I was so scared I told her no. She tried to convince me nothing bad would happen, but I was still so scared that we would get caught or it was somehow a trap. I tried to be as polite as I possibly could and assured her I would keep my mouth shut about everything, but as soon as she backed off, I dipped. She was pretty good looking and under any other circumstances, I would definitely bang her, but high school virgin scared me wasn't happy. Having it. I gotta say, it did not sound like she cared about her job very much. Or even future career, because that is definitely a career ender. Story 16. I had some pain in one of my testicles, so I went to the doctor to get it checked. Physical exam was fine, but the doc wanted images, so he sent me to radiology for an ultrasound. I, of course, had to strip down to nothing and put on one of those terrible hospital gowns. So my name is called and I enter a room where there are two attractive young women who are the radiologists. One is training the other. The trainee gently rubs warm gel all over my nuts and proceeds to scan. This whole process took at least 20 minutes and I swear they were screwing with me because the trainer was bent over right in front of me. Booty not leaving much to the imagination through her thin scrubs. And the trainee kept expertly applying more and more warm gel. I had to close my eyes, bite down on my tongue, and think about dead puppies to prevent a full-on hard-on. Despite my precautionary measures, erection prevention was only mostly successful. Story 17. We used to know a girl who fetished Asian dudes and looked like Kate Upton. Every chance we got, we would poke fun at her and she would flirt back. After a few months of knowing her, she invited me and my buddy, both Asian players at the time, to where she lived an hour away to hang out with her and her boyfriend. However, as the weekend came, she revealed that she had broken up with him, and that he would be sleeping in the living room while my friend and I could sleep on the floor of her bedroom. The night comes and we have a great time dancing, drinking, and being merry, before walking back to her place to discuss coffee, hipster stuff, etc. At this point, it's like 3am and we hear the ex-boyfriend come home. He starts to make noise in the kitchen, which is on the other side of our friend's bedroom. For whatever reason, she immediately takes that as a cue to start kissing me, then kissing my buddy while the three of us get undressed. I wish I had adult content to ask video evidence in cross-section format where the camera can see the ex-boyfriend nonchalantly making tea on one side of the wall and us making his ex-girlfriend loudly tap out on the other. Story 18. Me and my SO like having trios. We learned very, very early on, do not have one with your good friends though. It's messy. Now we just do it with randoms. We don't really pre-plan anything, but we know it's something we both like. If we go out and one of us gets chatted up, I'll feel it out to see if it's something they'd be into. He sort of lets me take the lead and make decisions on if it's gonna happen or not. More women are down with it than men, and he mostly gets to bang two women at the same time if I think it's a good idea. So he doesn't really care that I'm taking the lead. Most adult content-esque situation we've had was when I was once chatting up this really hot older woman and pushing to see if she'd be into it. She just put her hand up my skirt and slipped her fingers inside me and said, Let's go home and give daddy a show. I find the whole daddy kink thing weird, but coming from this older woman, it was hot as hell. 10 out of 10, would bang with her again. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this series of definitely very true stories of people who banged. To be fair, some of these I could absolutely see happening. I don't think they're all just frisky fanfiction. Some of them though, uh, I don't know. Either way though, entertaining nonetheless, don't you think? I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one.